Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this very short video, I'll talk about transistor currents, and for this, I'm following Mr. Malvino's book. Okay, let's uh, refresh the basic concept. Uh, the transistor, this is NPN. So this N and P and N. You can see that the P region is very, very thin. The others are thick. And without this battery, there is no charge. There is no charge difference in the two. Uh, however, the N region is doped more. With, so there is a concentration of electron more here. And similarly, the P re region is doped with a positive charge concentration, so slightly more concentration here, and same for the uh, N again. Now, when we connect a battery with a negative polarity to the emitter side, so this pumps in electrons, so there is electron concentration more now in the N region. But there is no flow of electron because of this barrier, this gap. Now what happens if we connect another battery to the P region with the positive of the battery supplying positive charges to the P region? Then what will happen that these electrons will get attracted by the positive charge and some of them, not all, very few of them actually will get uh, combined with the positive charge. But they move so fast, you can say, or since the gap is so much, that when they accelerate from here for meeting the positive charges, they'll actually cross this, this gap, small gap, and they'll move into the uh, end side again. This is called the collector side. So emitted from here, and they move to collector side. So this will become the final shape that the electrons now have moved to the collector side and then they'll be collected by the positive of the battery. So this cycle continues. And now uh, we can say that a very, very small current, a very small current from the base is controlling a very large current between emitter and collector. And if we draw the diagram, this is for the N type, N, P, N, some people also say it's not pointing in, that means it is pointing out. So if the symbol is pointing out, it is N, P, N. And as we said that the electrons flow from here, so electrons are flowing from uh, the emitter, so this is called emitter current, I, E some of these electrons go to the base so some goes to the base and that is IB and most of it cross and become IC and this diagram is showing the electron current flow now there is another diagram since we um, used to follow earlier the conventional current so based on the conventional current uh, there is another diagram and the only difference is that the current directions will get reversed. So you can imagine that these are the positive charges flowing, so opposite of the electron charges. So this is the conventional current diagram. But to learn the basic concept, you have to keep this diagram in mind. And to solve problems, obviously we'll use this conventional current because uh, in this region, we follow the conventional currents. Okay. Now, these were the two diagrams. So, from here, we can see uh, that IE, the emitter current, is being divided into two parts, IB and IC. So, we can say IE is equal to IC plus IB. The emitter current is equal to collector current plus base current. And also, as we mentioned, that the base current is very, very small, negligible, maybe 1% of the total current. So we can assume or we can neglect this 
so we can say that IC is approximately equal to IE. So this is an approximation, but the actual relation is this one. Then we define uh, two more terms. The so first is called alpha. Alpha is defined by the collector current divided by the emitter current. So it is the ratio of collector current and emitter current and it is called alpha DC because we are now dealing with the DC signals. When we deal with the AC signals then we will uh, come across alpha AC as well. But for the time being, so alpha is IC over IE and since IE is slightly greater than IC therefore this value is close to 1 or it is generally uh, around 0 0.99. Then we have we define another term which is called beta and beta is defined by IC over IV. So the collector current divided by the base current this time and this is called the current gain. So let's say one, one atom or one uh, positive charge of base is attracting or sending 10 then the gain will be 10 if it is one of this is attracting 200 then the gain will be 200 so the beta is also known as the current gain because a small base current controls a much larger collector current and its value is generally uh, for the small signal transistors it ranges from 100 to 300 Okay, now let's solve a few uh, short examples or discuss a few short examples solved in the book. The first one is a transistor has a collector current of 10 milliampere and a base current of 40 microampere. What is the current gain of the transistor? So the first thing is the collector current. 10 milliampere. So this is the collector current, 10 milliampere, and the base current is 40 microampere. So base current, this one or this one, whichever you feel, is 40 microamperes. And now we know the relation between the two. We have to find the current gain. So the formula for current gain we know is beta, beta DC is IC over IB. I'm just plugging in the values, so 10 milliampere over 40 microampere or 10 into 10 is to the power 3 divided by 40 into 10 is to the power minus 6. So this gives an answer of 250. So beta DC is 250. So that is the current gain. The next example, the transistor has a current gain of 175. If the base current is 0 0.1 milliampere, find the collector current. So this is also easy. The beta DC is given 175 and the base current is 0 0.1 milliampere. So we know the relation between uh, the beta DC collector current and base current. So we need to find the collector current IC. So we can say that IC is beta DC multiplied by IB. And now plugging in the values, 175.1 milliampere, so we get answer 17.5 milliampere. And the last question is that the transistor has a collector current of 2 milliampere and its current gain is 135. Now we need to find the base current. So again, simple IC is given, beta DC is given. And we have to find IB. So we'll use this formula from here. IB is equal to IB goes that side, beta DC comes here, so IC over beta DC. And plugging in the value, we get the answer of 14.8 microamperes. So I hope this gives you a basic idea of how collect, uh, transistor currents are related. Thank you.